If we could ever create a, a residence in the sky, a true residence, a true house, similar to what people live on on the ground, that would be a home run in a, in a high rise because it's you know the equivalent of having literally you know it's two units really. What's interesting is its size and its breadth. Expanse of glass across the facade of this unit is just enormous, and uh, the rooms are gracious. The panorama is astounding, and the, and the fact that you can see through the building and see the sunset and see the bay and the ocean, and it's an amazing unit. It's got the things that we are incorporating on a regular basis, like summer kitchens and, and beautiful marbles and top-end appliances, but the, the, the real crux to this is, is the size. The, there's really a hard place to find a unit that is already designed from the beginning that's this large. It flows, it's livable, uh, the kitchens you can really cook in, they're not just to look at. In the dining room, a dozen people could have dinner there easily. Uh, you can really entertain in this. The, the balconies today are what we're doing, particularly in the reserve units, are outstanding. They're just, imagine a 10 foot, 12, 11 foot deep balcony that's 160 feet long. I mean, you could bowl on it, swim on it, run on it. Uh, it's just incredible. Uh, the panorama from these units is, I don't, I don't know of any that are quite as nice. It's one thing to be on the ocean, and you know, but at night it's dark. It's very dark, as a matter of fact. But this has all those buildings that are all twinkling in, in the background, and the ocean, and the bay. The position of Privé and the island, along with this type of unit, that's pretty much unmatchable. What we did is we, created first a private elevator entrance, which got rid of the corridor. But more importantly, what it did is it allowed you to enter into the center of the unit, which then gave you the ability to have the unit go through, through the building. And that set up a situation where you now had two views, sort of interaction of nature. You could now open your windows and you could get crossed through ventilation. There were a whole bunch of pluses. But it also, on the other hand, made for a better layout in, in the apartment. It became more of a house, because you could enter now, and you didn't have to travel down a long corridor after the corridor in your unit. You didn't have to pass the kitchen to get to the living room and the dining room. And all these things started changing what went on within the, within the, the apartment. Let's talk about the Sky Residences, because those things are to die for. 15 foot ceilings in the living room approximately because you'd get the view and you'd get at the same time your own private yard, your own private swimming pool. Those are things that people like, <laughs> you know, so why not, you know? And the amenity on the roof is, is astounding because the site is an island, it has fantastic linearity, fantastic exposure of every unit and that gives way to fantastic rooftop gardens. That it's, it's, it's really a house. It's, it's got all the makings of a house. Houses don't have the ability to have somebody else maintain it. The maintenance issue in a home is a large driving factor for most people to go into an apartment. They're just you know, tired of doing it. And this is uh, kind of combining both worlds. And I think that, that part is, uh, makes the Privé Sky Residence is very unique. It, it speaks to kind of combining the worlds of single-family residence and apartment. And I think that's what's most unique about these.